Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nescafex here and welcome to this video. In today's video, we're gonna do an unboxing and test of my new keyboard, which I ordered. And these keyboard are carry-on and foldable. You can unfold and fold it everywhere where you want. There are 88 keys, so let's go for it. And here you go. Carry-on piano, piano everywhere. You have so many sounds, 128 sounds. You can use it as a MIDI, which is my main need to work with GarageBand on Mac. You have sustain pedal included, stereo speakers. <laughs> okay, so it's from UK. You will not find it on Czech market, which because I'm from Czech Republic and you cannot find it here. So I ordered it through Amazon Prime. Yes, Amazon Prime. I didn't know it will be Prime, but it's from Amazon and that's it. I ordered this on Tuesday and today it's Monday and I have it. So it was uh, less than a seven days. So it was really fast uh, delivery. So let's go for it. Okay, so let's open it. I have my ribička here, the fish knife, special. A uh, Czech knife. It's made in Czech Republic in Mikov. It's the best Czech knife with a long tradition. So of course this is made in China. The keyboard. Handle with care. Okay, I will carry it as much as I can. Oh, first sound of opening. That's so pleasing to your eyes and ears, but more for the ears. Wow, look at that, look at that. I open it up in the wrong way. It's upside down. Wow, look at that. Piano everywhere, anywhere. Wow, it looks great. You have so handy pickup here. So let's open it. Wow, look at that. It has got only 330 millimeters on long. The height is 87 millimeters and the rest is 226 millimeters. So let's take a look at this. Unfolds into a full length 88 key piano. So many sounds, accomplishments, demo songs, metronome. There is a drummer you can use as, as a MIDI, dynamic stereo speaker. Yes, perfect for headphone. Yeah, you can use it uh, on your headphones to quip. To play quietly okay there is a rechargeable battery you can play eight hours of playtime without charging that's freaking awesome there is a sustain pedal and carry back included carry back <laughs> i saw it on the internet and it was really cute i would love to have it also Wow, look at that cute bag, cute little bag. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. The carry on folding piano with so beautiful pick. Yes, I like it. I like it just as it is. What next we have got here? No, this is a sustain pedal. This pedal is so small, but it's so cute and portable, which is the idol for you. Here we have got an USB MIDI, USB MIDI, plug in, there's a manual, you can see, okay, owner's manual, blah blah blah, in other languages, new improved and simplified finds, how to unfold and fold your carry piano, there are methods, how to fold it or unfold it, VIP access. It's VIP access. Wow, carry on piano. Thank you. What the freak is this? No way. No way. You're freaking kidding me. This is so perfect for the beginners, which uh, don't know the key names. You can just put it on your keys. It's so freaking awesome. 
That's so freaking awesome. You can learn so easily the notes. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. And the main part of this video, the piano. It's so small, like this. I cannot imagine. I don't believe it. It's so small. And it's pretty cold. Poor piano. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Okay, okay, this is small place for you. I have to unfold it somewhere else. So, I know that this is a small place, but... Of course. What the freak is this? It's broken. <gasps> it came broken. Holy freak. This is a key and it's broken. Can I put it there somewhere? Somehow? Wow. And this is broken also. You cannot press it. This is a big fail. We have to repair it. Oh, just put it there, but it's broken. This is broken also. What the freak did you send me, Amazon? It's so fucked up. <laughs> okay, this will. This is a fail. This is a. This is a fail. Okay, but how to? Okay, like this. It has to do something like this, but this is not good. I repaired that. I made it. One is good. This this one is good. I repaired that. And the next one. What to do with that? Yes. Oh my goodness. I repaired that. Also. I... No. Hey, so I actually repaired that and put it so hard on that. And now it's perfectly working. So let's go. For the first time, if you touch the keyboard, it makes the clicking sound. It's so loud. It's very loud. It's very loud. But if you had your headphones, then it's no problem. You will not hear it. Or if you put volume button so loud that you will not hear this. Next opinion, the touch. There is no velocity, no dynamics. So the touch is so soft. For me, if you want to play, it's very soft and easy. Easy going, yes, you can play very... You don't have to press so hard on the re as on the real keyboard and on the real piano. For me, I don't like pushing so hard on the piano, you know, the forte, fortissimo, more something like that. You don't have to do this here. It's so easy. You just have to put like this. It's like on the keyboard, on computer. It's so soft. You don't have to push so hard. So for my lazy, I am very lazy person. And for me, my lazy hands liked it. So pretty easy, easy going, easy, no pushing hard. Very good, very good for me. Not for the real piano players, but for me it's perfect. Okay, first thing, you have a sustain pedal input, then there is a turn on button, I cannot show you. Shit! Okay, so here we have four main inputs. Here is a sustain pedal, you will put it here. Here is a power button, here is a MIDI USB and here are headphones jack input. So first of all, let's start it by long press. And it's on. Okay, this is our voice, number one. It's piano voice, okay? So I will play it. Okay, it's so uh, quiet, so let's put the volume on max button. It's 10. Oh shit, it's so loud. We don't need that. We need around five. It's so much. Let's put four or three. Okay, three is good. Okay, so here you can uh, 
can switch the sounds. Yes. You can change voices by this. Here's is a transp. Okay, so now this, there is a zero. I'm playing and I will put trans next on one. Yes, you understand, you can keep going and it will go up to number six. And you don't, you don't, you are playing still on the same keyboards. Yes, you don't need to play like this and <laughs> it's so easy. So transposition. Then there is a uh, accompaniment, drums. You can change the drums and you can play into it. Yes, it's so easy. Then there is a demo, demo songs. Okay, then there is a tempo and metronome. You can change sounds of it. Okay, metronome, and there is volume, and that's it. That's everything. What do you need to know? The main thing which I like is that it's freaking portable. That's the main, <laughs> main key, and it's still playing. And it's so small now. It's so small. You can put it in your bag. No problem. No problem. Sometimes it happens. So soft playing. Now let's try a sustain pedal. We have the sustain pedal and just put it there. It's working. Perfect. Now without sustain. Now with sustain. Okay, so it's working perfectly. Now let's try MIDI. So here we have the MIDI cable and I hope it will work, because if not, then it's a big problem. Okay, so you have it in your keyboard and put it on your... Okay, so it's so simple. Just launch your app, for example, for me, GarageBand, put in the MIDI input Okay, so now it's not playing, just plug in, plug it in, it's there, you can play. It's working perfectly, all keyboards. Yes, it's working, so let's uh, put piano there, the grand piano. Now you are hearing the voice from the piano and also from the a laptop. So just volume, volume it down here to the zero so we can hear only this. But if you want your, <laughs> you know, output volume from this, you can also. Okay, so let's put 
the sustain pedal here if it works just by uh, plugging it here it's working perfectly perfect let's let's try this i have to try it okay so put it on your right leg because that's what normal sustain pedal are in the right place and play It's working 100% perfectly. It's so freaking awesome. I totally recommend this piano, falling piano to everyone who is often traveling and need their full keyboard with themselves so they can practice. And it's also perfect for the music processing in PC, you know, software synthesizers as a MIDI keyboard. It's so freaking awesome. And that's the point why I bought this. And I totally can recommend you it's worth it. So that was everything from me for today's video. I hope you liked it. If yes, hit the like and subscribe button for more videos and I will see you in my another video. So have a great day, have a great night and have a great everything what you want and see ya. Goodbye, Nescafex. Bye bye.